The nation is in shambles under President Joe Biden. It's hard not to look ahead to the future. Very unclear for the Democratic Party, to say the least right now, as the current administration fumbles opportunities to correct their mistakes at every turn. The president's approval rating also continues to plummet uh, at just 31 percent right now. For more on this, let's welcome back former Pennsylvania senator and presidential candidate, senior advisor at the Convention of States and Newsmax contributor Rick Santorum with us. Uh, senator, great to have you back. Good morning. Thanks, Rob. Good to be with you. Um, I just want to get your reaction to the news uh, yesterday morning. Um, Joe Biden, we heard early in the morning that, according to Quinnipiac, he had a 31 percent approval rating. Uh, then a little bit later in the morning, we heard that he came down with COVID-19. Uh, your reaction to that? Well, the 31 percent, uh, unlike really any other president I can think of, Joe Biden has no floor. He, he is destined to go lower if this inflation continues and they supply chain issues and the border and everything, which if that continues, his number goes lower. And the reason is uh, he doesn't have a base of support. The reason Joe Biden won was a vote against Donald Trump. It was the, the left didn't like Joe Biden. They didn't want him as their nominee, but they took him because he was their best chance of getting elected. But no one loves Joe Biden. There's no real strong, like Trump. Trump had a great base of support. Obama has a great base of support. You keep going back. He has no base of support. So this number is going to get worse unless things get better for Biden. And obviously getting sick is, uh, is, is terrible and I feel bad for Joe. But this virus is not the virus it was uh, uh, two years ago. This is a much tamer virus. And I'm sure and there are plenty of treatments out there. He's on some of them. He will do well. And he really should be used this as an example uh, to, to his CDC to stop this, this crazy talk about lockdowns and, and mass mandates and things like that that are being discussed. Yeah, Congressman, I think a lot of people are with you, especially watching right now. Uh, yesterday, Corrine Jean-Pierre was asked about contact tracing, uh, and I actually liked her answer. Uh, people are yeah. criticizing her for it. She said, I don't think that matters. I agree. We're two and a half years into this. All right, if we have kids in masks in the fall, that'll be four straight years. Think about that. That's all of high school uh, if, if you're wearing masks again this fall. Do you think the administration pivots or does what Congressman Andrew Clyde just said and doubles down on COVID policies come this fall? I, I have seen nothing at this administration that, that says that they will step away from their hardcore base. They will step away from their ideology. Look, these are, these are ideologues. These are people who say this is the way it should be. And if, and if we try it and it doesn't work, it's because we didn't do enough of what we wanted to do. It's not that what we uh, our ideas are wrong, it's just that we need more of them. That's been the uh, response from the socialists really throughout history, not just yeah. here in the United States. And, that, and that's what we're going to see more of, doubling down. Just about 30 seconds. Uh, we thought we might see the final January 6th hearing last night. We found out these are literally going to continue into September. Uh, your take on that and the fact that they might go right up until the November midterms. Yeah, I'm actually surprised they're not going to issue a report before the election, but it sounds like they're not. Uh, last night, I don't think, was a good night for Donald Trump. I mean, the, uh, the, the focus last night was not that what Trump was intending. It's what Trump did. And the fact that he uh, they have pretty good records of uh, him sitting there and, and resisting attempts to uh, to stop the uh, stop the protest and stop the uh, the the, uh, the crowds was not a good look for Donald Trump. So I, I think they probably got a little lift last night from their from their show, and we'll see what happens after Yeah, that. I, don't, I just don't think voters care about it. I wish, and we've talked about this, I wish it was really bipartisan. I wish we had yeah. true cross-examinations. We don't Transparency have Transparency about, about everything that went on there, not just this. Absolutely. Uh, Senator, great having you back on. Good to see you. I hope we can do it again soon. My pleasure. Thanks, Rob. All Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.